Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be making hot crab dip and all the ingredients you're gonna need are sour cream, mayonnaise, lemon juice, garlic powder, which is optional, uh, Old Bay seasoning, Worcestershire sauce or Worcestershire sauce, um, paprika, any hot sauce, it doesn't have to be Cholula, but that's the one I have. Uh, cream cheese, I ended up getting garden vegetable cream cheese to add like some sort of flavor, but you can get plain if you want. I have crab meat, this is I think jumbo crab meat, but you can get imitation crab to keep it cheaper since that was kind of expensive. Um, cheese of any kind, it's um, up to you. And green onion to go on top, but this is also optional. So yeah, let's get right into the video. First thing you're gonna need to do is preheat your oven to 375. Mine is preheating right now, so get that out of the way. That way, whenever you're done making this, you'll be ready to cook. Add 12 ounces of cream cheese, room temperature. This is definitely not room temperature, I just took this out, but this is, this normal one is about 7.5, so we're gonna have to use one and a little bit more than a half on the other. So there's one. And then we're gonna do about that much. A little more cream cheese never hurt anyone. Okay, so this is how much we have left on the other one. So not that much. Sorry if the lighting is crappy. My kitchen lighting is not very ideal. Um, we're also gonna add cheddar cheese. So for the cheddar cheese, it's gonna be um, four ounces. I don't know how much that is. I don't even know how much is in here. It doesn't say it. So we're just gonna guesstimate. Okay. This is um, from Central Market, so this is some good cheese. This is fresh. It's not like Walmart. Like, no hate on Walmart. I shop there a lot, but I got this at Central Market, and this is some bougie cheese. Okay, we're just going to say that's about it. So this is how much I have left. About, like, use a little, like, half. Um, what else? Old Bay seasoning, so that's one tablespoon. That's about right, yeah, that's about right. One tablespoon. Um, mayonnaise is gonna be one third, but instead of using one third of mayonnaise, I'm gonna use two tablespoons of mayonnaise and then two tablespoons of sour cream because I feel like that's a lot of mayonnaise for this, in my personal opinion. So I'm going to split it in half. Okay, so that was two tablespoons. Let me get my spoon. And then we're going to do two tablespoons of sour cream. You don't have to do this. You can do the one third, but I just feel like sour cream would add a good flavor to that. And then I'm going to add just a little bit more mayonnaise because technically um, half of a third split in half is five point something. So do you guys get what I'm saying? I don't know. Okay, so there's that. And then Worcestershire sauce and lemon juice. So Worcestershire, that is going to be one tablespoon. And then lemon juice is just like a squeeze. Okay, so there's that. And then lemon juice. There you go. Um, and then you're gonna mix that together. 
And then you're gonna um, actually add some garlic powder. I totally forgot this. Ooh, that's a lot. I like garlic powder though. Um, oh, and hot sauce. Duh. Okay. <laughs> this is, I'm winging some of this. Like, the recipe doesn't call for some of this. But you know, hot sauce would be super good. Okay. That's a lot, but I like my stuff saucy. Okay, and you're gonna mix this together. So let's do that. They said fold it in, but I don't have one of those things on me. So we're gonna mix this and I'll try my best to fold in the crab once I'm done. Once that's done, you are going to add a pound of crab meat. Okay, so once all of the uh, crab is in, you're supposed to fold it in. These are big chunks, so maybe I'll just like break them up a little bit. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I love the smell of seafood. I might be the only one. Do, do you guys like the smell of seafood? Some people, they're like put off by it, but... I love it. Mmm. This looks so good. I really hope it turns out well. Because, you know, sometimes you try recipes and they're not good. So once this is done, you're going to transfer it to a pan. So some cheese to it. So not too much. You can add as much or as little, though. I'm just going to use the rest of this and just spread it on the top. And then you're gonna put this in the oven at 375 for about 20 to 25 minutes, depending on what you cook it in. I'm cooking it in a cast iron, so I can probably take it out in 20 minutes. But if you're using glass, it might take a little bit longer. And then when it's done, I'm gonna add green onions, and or I'm gonna add paprika and then green onions to the top. And then I will see you for the mukbang portion. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm eating a hot crab dip, which you saw me make in the beginning. And I have some shrimp cocktail with cocktail sauce and lemon to squeeze on top. And for my chips, I have the regular Cool Ranch. Um, and I have salsa verde, which, yeah, there you go. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I've never had this before, so yay, hopefully it turns out good. And I added green onions and paprika, like I said, in the cooking portion. First, while this is cooling down, I want to have some shrimp. Um, these are bougie shrimp. Like, I haven't had fancy shrimp. Normally when I get shrimp cocktail, I get it from um, Walmart. So let's squeeze some lemon juice on top. Um, I got this from Central Market, so it was a little bit pricey, but I'm like, let's try the nice kind. Here's the shrimp. Mmm. Mmm. This is spicy. It has like a kick to it. Not spicy, but like it hits your nose. Kind of like wasabi does. So I don't know what that is, but whoa. Oh my god, what is in there? Like, I'm not kidding. It hits my nose. Do you guys know what's in there? I've never had shrimp cocktail like that, or the cocktail sauce like this. Holy crap. No wonder they give you lemon. I 
Alright, also, this might be weird. I've never tried this before, so I'll let you guys know if it's good. I also had this in the fridge. Papa John's garlic sauce. And I figured, um, sorry if the lighting is off. I know I say that every time. But I figured I'd try this and see if it's good. Because, you know, people dip their shrimp in garlic. Or not garlic, but like a butter sauce all the time. So, guess I'll find out. Ooh, I actually kind of like that. I wonder if I dip it in here and then dip it in the garlic sauce if it would off put it a little bit. It's actually good. I'm going to use the other lemon. I feel like you can never have too much lemon on your seafood. Hmm. My sister used to eat lemon um, plain and it tore the enamel off of her teeth. So be careful. Don't eat lemon too much. It's not good for your teeth. Maybe they put like horseradish in here or something. Although that's white, so that can't be right. Because then this would be like a different color. Hmm. Okay, let's try this dip. I'm gonna do cool ranch first. First of all, I went to take this out of the oven and I literally tipped it over and some of it fell out onto the oven. So I'm really sad about that. I was like, I can do this with one hand. No, this pan is freaking heavy. So I'm really sad about that because now I have to like deep scrub my, the inside of my oven because you know, that's gonna take a while to get out. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Sorry if you can hear cars go by. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Ooh. By the way, this is not my recipe. I'm gonna link the girl's recipe down below. Um, she's an ASMR channel. I forget her name, but this is definitely not my recipe. I just tweaked it a little bit. Um, but yeah, I saw her make this and I'm like, I, I have to make that. So yay, this is really good. Mm, that crab is so good. Um, when I saw the price of crab, I at first like I didn't check the price, so like it can't be that much. And then I bought it and I looked at my receipt after and I almost had a heart attack. This lump crab or jumbo crab was almost $50, so <laughs> no, never again. That is a lot of money for, I don't care. I, I get it seafood, but wow. But this is really good. But if you try it with imitation crab, let me know how it tastes. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Mm. It's 
almost Christmas, by the way, so that's cool. I'm excited, but not really. I decided last minute that I'm going to film my dog um, opening up his presents for Christmas. So that should be on my channel either on Christmas or the day after. So, um, I'm, yeah, I'm excited. I did that last minute. I was like, okay, I'm going to get him some stuff because he needs some stuff anyway. And he always gets super excited whenever he gets gifts, like a bone. He goes crazy, so it'll be cute. I can't say it too loud because he'll still hear me. He's laying right there. Luckily, I filmed when he was a little bit sleepy, so he's chilling right now. Mm. I love these uh, salsa verde chips. If you want to repurpose this and you don't want to eat all of it, you can totally make it into an Alfredo sauce. Just add a little bit of cream. So yeah, if you want to save this the next day, you can add um, heavy cream to it. And then put it back on the stove for a little bit and that would be really good. Just to kind of like thin it out. Oh goodness. I wish this cheese didn't like congeal together. Sorry if I'm not as talkative in this video. <laughs> Damn. No, it's like flashbacks to my first video. I'm not gonna lie, I was nervous to try this um, just because I didn't think I would like it, but now that I'm eating it, I really like it. I love the thick uh, chunks of crab. I'm gonna go get some napkins, so I'll be right back. I'm drinking purple Powerade. Okay, I'm gonna do another shrimp cocktail. You never realize how much quality difference there is until you buy like, not everything, but some nicer things like shrimp and um, crab from an actual seafood market area. Because yeah, Walmart has that, but it's never as good. And like this, you can just taste the quality. Like this shrimp 
versus Walmart, like a huge difference, not only in size, but in the color of it and the cocktail sauce and also the way it tastes. It, this tastes really fresh. This is so good. This was actually a really good idea. I don't typically eat seafood that much. Like I said, it costs a lot of money to me. And um, I'm just, I have to crave it, first of all. Second of all, um, it's just not something I want all the time. I'm the type of person where I have to eat it like three times and then after that, I'm kind of over it for a while and then I'll circle back around after I got my cravings done I'm like ooh, you know what seafood sounds good I'm happy I don't crave it though because then I'd be spending a lot of money You know what seafood that kind of scares me? Um, crawfish. There's just something about it that just like scares me. I think it just because it looks like a cockroach. Um, it's kind of like jumbo um, or tiger shrimp. They have the little legs on them and I'm just like, ugh. I did a video on that if you guys saw that and I was like freaking out. After a while you kind of get used to it. But still, it's just like the thought of the little legs. Tell me uh, an insect or a bug that you're afraid of. I'm afraid of cockroaches, but I used to be afraid of daddy long legs. Now I'm not as afraid of spiders as I used to be. And I can pretty much um, trap them and put them outside or kill them if they're like they're small enough. I'm really sad about spilling this in my oven because I just know how long it's gonna take. <laughs> If you guys didn't know I was a maid before, it was one of my jobs and I did that for about a year. Oh my gosh, look at that. And I actually love that job. So I was a maid for people's houses, not like a hotel or anything. I just did personal homes. And there was a lot of cool clients, but there were also a lot of, like, their homes were scary. Like, oh, and they didn't, like, tip you anything. And I'm like, wow. I'll tell you about a time that I cleaned one of the worst homes I have ever seen, ever. Like, I don't know how he lived there. I don't know how he breathed the inside of that home and it took him two years he hadn't cleaned for two years it said it like okay so when you go to clean a home they give you a list like they give you the name they give you the address they give you specifics on what you have to clean 
They tell you how long it's estimated to take. They tell you if you're alone or if you're cleaning with like a crew or maybe two people. So on the list, it said this guy had not cleaned his home for two years, like hadn't touched anything. Um, and so I was like, oh, I was already dreading it. And this was a first time clean, which is always the hardest because you get all the dirtiness. But then after that, it gets pretty much easier if they do bi-weekly. Um, you know what to expect. You know it's going to be a little bit cleaner than the first time. And typically, first time cleans, they pay more than regulars. So this was a first time clean. Not only was I by myself, but on the sheet it said it would take two hours. So I was like, oh, he must live in an apartment or something. No. I show up and he lives in a two bedroom. And not only that, but he's getting it remodeled. So... So they're remodeling his bathroom first. And I walk in, he looks like a friendly dude. And then he shows me to his bedroom and he's like, you can start cleaning here. And when I tell you I turn on the lights and I gasped, I was shocked. I saw dust that was this thick. I'm not kidding you. Everything was covered in dust and it was super, super thick dust. Like he hadn't dusted in two years. Um, on top of that, he had dogs. So there was dog hair everywhere. It looked like um, a horror story. Like, it looked so bad. I wish I would have brought in one of those masks that covers your nose. Because when I started dusting, it went everywhere. Like, it looked like I hadn't dusted at all because it just settled back down. It was really bad. I ended up, like, having red eyes because all of the dog hair and I was like wiping my eyes and I, it just they just got really bad eventually after three hours I ended up calling my boss and saying can you bring another person here there's no way I'm gonna finish I went inside of his bathroom that was getting remodeled debris everywhere and I called the office. I'm like, they're remodeling this bathroom. Should I clean it? She's like, yeah, just clean around it. I'm like, how do you clean around an entire bathroom? That means like clean around it as in don't go in. And she's like, no, just like kind of wipe down the counter. So I'm like, what for though? The, the counters were getting torn out. So what am I going to wipe down? <laughs> and my boss is like, just make it look like you did something. And I'm like, what? So I had to go in his um, bathroom that's getting remodeled and clean around it. And he came up behind me and he's like, oh yeah, you don't have to clean this. So I'm like, uh huh, okay, cool. So yeah, safe to say it took us both. She showed up like an hour after I called my boss because she's at another person's house. I think it took us like six hours to clean this entire home. Six hours. Crazy. And normally people that have really dirty homes, they'll tip you really good. Uh, really good as in like 20 to 40 dollars depending 20 to 40 and cleaning homes actually does you can make some good money depending on what homes you clean depending on if you clean rich people's homes or um i mean i wouldn't say poor people but i mean they can afford a cleaning service so they're not really poor but like middle class people um they typically don't tip but rich people do and they'll tip you good depending on like how good you did most rich people homes are super clean, so you don't really have to do that much. I enjoyed it though. I ended up um, leaving though because I just couldn't do it anymore. There's a lot of rude people that want their home a specific way. But Like, they're not really paying that much for it. Like, um, 
a lot of people that want to like their homes done really well don't want their baseboards wiped down which that's extra money and then you try to tell them it's extra money and they say oh no no, no i'm not paying so i'm like i can't do this and they're like yeah well this needs to be done and then when you don't do it they end up calling the boss and they get a complaint to you and then the boss sits you down and she's like um you got a complaint today and then i have to try to explain to her why and she always has to take the customer side so you know what you can add to this for like a more of a texture if you don't really want chips you can add onion um that would bring a nice flavor i didn't have any onions surprisingly i always have onion on me and um the green onions helps give it a little bit of crunch but you can also put garlic uh, more hot sauce, more green onions, you can mix just a lot of stuff. And I burned myself, so this hurts. I'm going to have one more shrimp and then I think I'm done. Mm. Those are so good. I really want to try to make um, ceviche. It just looks very tedious, like you have to chop up everything super, super thin. But I might try making that off of off of um, YouTube, and if it goes well, then I'll make it on YouTube. I get scared trying new stuff just because if it doesn't taste well, then I spent all this money and this time making it, and it just didn't go well. So, um, anyway, I want one more shit. I highly recommend making this if you do. Like I said, I'm going to link the girls a video down below. And I will see you for another video. The next video is probably going to be Tucker opening up his presents. So that will be a cute dog video. And if you don't like that, then you can just skip it and then watch the next video that I make. Anyway, bye guys. Thank you for watching.